Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Mario, or Mari Portal? Mari Zero? It's like Mario, but with a zero instead of an O. Anyway, as you can probably tell by looking at this, if you haven't heard about this game, this is a Super Mario Bros. 1 Portal mashup that has been essentially created, released for free on the internet, because obviously if they sold it, they would be sued into oblivion by Nintendo, if not Valve. And this is pretty much exactly what you'd expect it to be, and it's a lot of fun as a result of that. So, you know, I don't need to explain too much, let's just get started and you'll see it in action. So we'll start here. Uh, you can definitely play this using your keyboard and mouse, but, I don't know, playing the Super Mario Brothers on the keyboard just doesn't feel right for me. Like, using space to jump and WASD to move around. All seems like it's it feels better on the controller, even if it is the Xbox 360 controller right now. So you can see it's a faithful recreation of Super Mario, Super Mario Brothers on the NES, but it also has the addition of a portal gun, so by using my right analog stick here, or your mouse, depending on what you choose to use, you can set up blue portals, which you can't go into yet because I haven't set up an orange portal, of course. Just toss this one over here just for kicks so you can see. And indeed, it does work. Oh my god, I'm stuck in an infinite loop. Now, I don't have a ton of experience with Portal. Not that I think it's a bad game or anything, but... Uh, the first Portal game gave me motion sickness, and then I really never even tried out Portal 2, despite hearing that it was one of the best games of last year. So my Portal Foo is pretty weak, but my Mario Foo is fantastic. These are the, the games of my childhood. But the cool thing about this is that the game kind of allows you to be a total dick to your enemies. Let's see if we can fuck up some Goombas here. So let's pop a Portal down there, and I'll just send them into oblivion. And I can always try to accomplish my goal of finally jumping over the flagpole. So I think if I take a running jump at this, land in the orange portal... Oh, God damn it! <laughs> oh well. Just get out of there! Get on the... get on the flag! Alright, so that was not a good example of what's going on here, but you should get the gist of what the game's about right now. Now the weird thing about this is that... Uh, by the way, I'll put a link in the video description, so if you want to check this out for yourself, you can. Again, definitely free, although you can donate to the developers. Um, one of the weird things about this is playing through Super Mario Brothers again with these new physics after playing through it so many times. It, I, I want to just, like, use my Mario skills. Let's put it that way. I don't want to use the portals. I actually have to, like, force myself to use them. Now, I don't think I can get up on the uh, area there just by using the portals right at the very beginning, but maybe it's possible? My jumping skills are apparently pretty weak here. Let's try it. God! Okay, one more try. I've ran out of time so many times just running into the- or just playing with the portal physics, so I can make myself go very quickly anyway. There's something. But I think we can get up to the shortcut spot a little bit easier. Let's bust this open. Get some holes here. And again, I'll probably run out of time again, but oh well. And we'll pop a portal down here, and a portal here, and then I think, there we go, okay. Oh, not quite. How are we going to do this? Okay. I think it'll be easier if I jump in from the other side. But again, my portal foo is very weak. Okay, now let's try this. There we go, okay. So now we got up here a little bit earlier than expected. Although I could have just waited anyway. I'm gonna have to get off here anyway, but everyone knows about this secret shortcut here, I assume. Pop over here and go to the warp zone. I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be, but, you know, depending, could actually beat the entire game here. I would love to use the portal gun against Bowser. I haven't had a chance yet, though. Alright, so now we get into some problems, because we have to deal with Lykatu here. And Fire Flower's coming out of the ass. How am I going to get this guy out of here? I wonder if I could just, like, shoot him in the face with a portal gun and cause him to fade out of existence. Well, at the very least, I can put some portals down. Oh god, I've, I've made a huge mistake. And just get rid of these, uh pieces of crap right here. This doesn't seem to have helped me that much. <laughs> Mario, turn around. Why are you running? Oh, you're running backwards. Because of the portal gun, of course. I'm just going to speed through this level. Like my... Ah, oh, no! And that's some real shit right there. Like, you, you don't go Fire Flower to Big Mario. You get hit, you go back down to Little Mario. That's the way it should be. You kids these days with your new Super Mario Bros, with your bubbles that let you come back into the game after you die, you know what it's like. You can have all the upgrades in the game, and then just be, you know, on your ass. Alright, bring it on, like it to. I want to murder your bitch ass, you better run away. Alright, let's try this again. How am I gonna- I, I can't shoot a portal down there. It, 
Maybe if I jump? Okay, I think if I jump, I can do it. There we go. One more try. Perfect! Of course, you can't actually get over the flagpole. I always wanted to explore what's off in that weird little world to the right there. Like, you get to the castle and you go inside. You know, the fireworks go off. And then that's it. What's to the right of the levels in Super Mario? Who knows, man. Now, actually, I have to admit that as much as I'm talking like this is my game, I haven't played that much of the original Super Mario Brothers to know if there's another warp zone coming up. I was more of a fan of the Lost Levels. But... For now, it's working out fairly well. <laughs> I'm using, like, zero portaling. And, of course, like, this is not a game game in a traditional sense, if that makes any sense. Uh, I'm not big enough to... Maybe there's a mushroom in here. Uh, like, the, the levels in Super Mario Brothers are not designed to require portal guns. So it makes the game, like... You don't have to use portal guns, obviously, to succeed here. Although, I probably should have to grab that, but oh well. Worked out surprisingly well. But really, like, the, the only reason the portal gun is in this game is just to make it a little cooler, you know? Just to mess around with the physics, essentially. And it's a very, very faithful recreation of the original Super Mario Brothers, I have to admit. Now, is there another warp zone here, or is this one of the dick warp zones that actually only sends you back? Because if it only sends you back, then I am in trouble. Mmm, okay, one more warp ahead. You know what, let's actually try to beat the levels on this one, so maybe I can fight Bowser and see if I can just portal his ass into the lava. Yeah, put portal down here, portal down here, see you later! Again, this is not working so well for me. Oh well. Ah, the goddamn piranha plants. One thing I've noticed is that the physics can be a little bit wonky. Like, if, for example, if I put a portal uh, just below me, that was a horrible idea. <laughs> Well, what I was going to say is if you go through a portal that sends you, like, up through a pipe, then uh, you can run into the piranha plant inside of the pipe and die, which I'm not sure is, like, an error. Oh, my God, so dumb. I'm not sure if that's an error or a bug. Or, like, an error or a feature. Because, uh, I don't know. I feel like it should kill the piranha plants. I don't even want to talk about what just, what just happened right there. Game over. Fantastic. All right, let's start over from the beginning here. I'm going to try to do a little bit more portaling. Try to do things a little bit differently. There's also, uh, I should say, there's a level editor so you can make your own levels. So I expect people will actually design levels that make more use of the portal gun. Because right now, I mean, again, Mario is Mario. You, if you beat it without a portal gun as a 10-year-old, you can probably beat it without a portal gun now. Uh, and I expect that hopefully there will be some kind of like online integration for that. There's also skins so we can change our, uh, our hat. Go with a little uh, fedora with a feather in it, a bowler, a top hat, cat in the hat, wearing a bird or a banana on your head, or a toilet? Is that a toilet? Anyway, you get the picture. There's a lot of hats. I might go back to the banana hat. Although the turtle shell's nice, too. And uh, we can change the color, I suppose. Not that it matters. Oh, change the color of Mario. Okay. Let's go with blue Mario. The way he was meant to be. And uh, hair doesn't really matter. I think. Does that change the... No. I thought it would change the color of the turtle shell. Okay. The other thing, you can see there's like player one, player two, player three, player four. There is multiplayer. Which is kind of neat, but I haven't really tried it out myself. What else do we have? Unlock this by completing the original levels pack. Alright, well. I'll do that eventually. So let's start again as Turtle Shell Mario. Uh, there are plans, according to the developer, to do uh, to integrate multiplayer into online as well, and I'm interested to see how that works out. I haven't tried the multiplayer out for myself because, you know, I'm I'm a lonely, lonely man here. But I'm kind of interested in it as to how that would work out. Here's how you can be a dick to these guys. Oh well, I was just gonna, I was gonna say I could shoot a portal that like knocks them off the edge. Oh, my hat's gone, and now Mario looks like a fucking idiot without that turtle shell in his head. Pick up our fire flower again. This is almost becoming like Let's Play Original Super Mario Brothers on the NES, but it's so hard to break out of that habit. What cool things can I do with this portal gun? Okay, well first off, we're gonna enact sweet revenge. And we're gonna get over this flag for once. Perfect, okay. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but it might not work in the original Super Mario Brothers. Again, like, I played a lot of Super Mario Brothers 2, but it's been a long time since I played original Mario. Of course, it's, like, uh, like really ingrained into my skull from my childhood, but I can't call those memories up. But anyway, in uh, Lost Levels, 
if you finish a level with, let's say, like, 11 seconds, or let's say you have 11 coins and you finish the level and the time ends in a 1, like 371 or 291, you'll get an extra life. Hmm. I wonder if I can, I should just use my portal again to get past here. Finally make use of it. So that was basically the only way I was able to beat the lost levels, is by basically gaming the system. Okay, there we go. And just waiting uh, until, like, let's say I had 22 coins. It always has to be, uh, like, a palindrome amount of coins. Oh, that was so stupid. At least I got my hat back. I got some head protection now. And then, uh, then just farming it for extra lives, essentially. Because you pick up extra lives a lot at the start, and then hopefully you'll be able to survive the end. Because that game gets pretty dickish. I mean, you guys probably all know the story about, like, why Doki Doki Panic eventually became Super Mario Bros. 2, which was that the actual Super Mario Bros. 2 released in Japan was just too damn hard for American children. Which is probably pretty fair, you know? I didn't beat that game until I was, like, 20. But anyway, let's run through here. We got Laikatsu again. Pretty sure the best way to get through this level is to just never look back. Never surrender. Trust your instincts. You're beginning to remind me more like your father. Do a barrel roll, etc, etc. Again, just running as quickly as possible. I wish there was a way I could... Oh, that was so bad. My run button stalled. I'm going to blame my controller, not myself. Um, what the heck was I gonna say here? Oh, I wish there was a way I could, like, totally fuck over Laikatsu. I wonder if I... Let's try it. Why are we playing Mario Portal if we don't at least try some of this crazy shit? Okay, but get out of... Oh, well, I'll just jump on his head then. How does that work? Does that tickle your fancy? Get out of the way of that portal so I don't accidentally kill myself. I think if you use a portal and there's no other portal, you should just die. Like, you should get lost in the nether realm or something. Not the Minecraft nether realm, like the, the actual one, where you go when you die if you've been a bad person. Um, please, a mushroom. Let's get out of this bucket of syrup right here. Really does make jumping a little bit easier, that's for damn sure. I've seen people do some cool stuff in this game. But I am not at that level yet, let's put it that way. I don't want that to be there, I want it to be... there. I love how the only time I consistently use portals is to jump to the top of the flag. Because, you know, you gotta get that 5,000 point bonus. Everyone knows Mario's all about getting the high score. Not just getting to the end. And I mean, if you haven't played through the original Super Mario Brothers, it's worth picking up this game, which again is free, uh, just for that little history lesson. Oh my fucking god. Embarrassing. On camera, too. It's funny, when I first started this, like, video game commentary stuff, uh, I had a stream on Justin TV, now Twitch TV, and one of the first things I did was what I called the Race of Death, where I put Super Mario Brothers the movie on, and Super Mario Brothers Lost Levels on and tried to beat Lost Levels before the movie finished. And I succeeded, but it was pretty close. The movie's pretty short because it's terrible. It's only like 85 minutes or something. Okay, there's a mushroom. Ah, I'm such an idiot. Why didn't I set up some portals? I knew the mushroom was there. All right, we got to get up there. We don't have to get up there, but it's going to make it easy for us. Again, just do a running jump because that's what Mario's all about. This has been Let's Play Super Mario Brothers 1 emulated. Originally on the NES. <laughs> no portal guns needed. But this warp will take us to level 5 where hopefully, I really don't want to end this video before we get a boss fight with Bowser because I just want to like shoot a portal into the lava and ruin his life. Or just like drop him off the ceiling and run past him. I don't know. We'll see what's going on here. Right, so I just don't want to die like a scrub on these levels that are pretty easy. Just play like traditional Mario. Although I am... You know, the Koopas shouldn't attack me when I'm wearing this thing on my head. It should be like when Solid Snake has a box. They should just walk past, him, walk past me. Although it is, you know, 2D space, so I'm not sure how they would accomplish that. Almost jumped off the edge because I'm borderline retarded, apparently. Yeah, watch out for the bullet bills. Watch out for the piranha... Oh, God. Thank God for the helmet. You all laughed at me. Now this should be a no-brainer. Unless I shoot that portal on myself. What's up with these trees, man? Whatever Mario's been smoking, I want it. Looks like a big 
Marshmallow Popsicle. Yeah, you go through that portal, Koopa Man. Do backflips. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like Billy MC. Game over. Oh well. It was fun while it lasted. I'm not sure how much more there is to say. I mean, it's Mario, it's Portal. You've seen me play it. You know what it is. Now go download it if it looks like fun. Especially if you're a little bit more Portal intelligent than I am. I mean, my Portal IQ is a little bit below, like, Forrest Gump. So, uh, I basically just play this like regular Mario, occasionally using portals to try to jump over the flagpole, which was my childhood dream. But, for those of you with more experience with Portal, definitely you should check this out. Mess around with the portals, it's a lot of fun, and of course, the price is absolutely right. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.